So, how have things been going? Uh, so so. Um, lately, I've kind of uh, I've felt a, a lot of distractions. Yeah. Um, whether they be like I think they were the past month more ex or the past month more external. Yeah. Like things happening, and then um, more internal now. Like I try to sit down and and read, and my mind is just everywhere. Okay. Um. I, I take the blame for that, you know, I think I could exert a little bit more more willpower, mm -hmm. but it's just really easy for me to get distracted and think about other things that I need to do. Um, that's like on an individual basis. Um, I've been <coughs> getting together a lot with one of my friends, and when we're together, like, we feel like the power, like, you know, with our conversations and we pray together, mm -hmm. and that has been that has been growing. That has been great. Good. All right. Very well, true. Let's get into prayer and we'll see what uh, what the Lord will expose here today. All right, Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I thank you for my brother Andrew, and I thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing with him. I thank you, Lord, for his friend that you've brought to him that to that they can. Uh, praise and worship you and, and come in prayer together and agree in prayer together in this in this foreign land where they are um, that that they can be you know they can bring the glory your glory to many people that they can be a light on the hill in, in the in a whole you know a place of darkness where they are and um, I just pray that you would continue to guide them and direct them in all they do. I pray that you would continue to teach them and grow them and to use them for your glory. They, I know that Andrew wants to be, you know, he's, he's willing to and, and available. He's making himself available for you, Lord. And I pray that you would use him in any way that you possibly can. And I know that you already planned to. And Lord, I pray that any distractions, any evil that is being sent against him to stop him from doing the plans that you have for him, I pray that you would expose it. I pray that you would shine the light of Jesus Christ within all through his soul and spirit and expose the hidden corners of the darkness, the lies, the strategies of the enemy. I pray that you would expose every stronghold of the enemy. Shine the light of Jesus Christ all through him, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, and drive back the darkness and, and um, bring every part of his soul and spirit out of bondage, wherever they might be, wherever wherever his spirit is, Lord, the enemy has has pushed his spirit down and let him and forced him to to move in the in the soulish realm and live in the soulish realm most of the time. Lord, I pray that you would switch that around. I pray that you would bring him into proper alignment, proper order, that he would be guided by his spirit, the spirit that's been created in his, in the image of God. That his spirit would come forth out of bondage, out of darkness, out of wherever wherever the enemy has has suppressed them. Bring him forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Minister to his spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that he can worship in spirit and truth, so that he can walk and function in the spirit, not in the flesh, not in the soulish realm. Lord, I pray that you bring him forward and out of bondage, and every part of his soul that needs to be restored as well. In Jesus' mighty name pray that you would send the fire of God now through all of, all over his home, all over his clothes, heaps of burning coals under his feet. Send legions of your holy angels to war with us in Jesus' mighty name to bind up every principality of the air, every ruler of darkness, all spiritual wickedness around us in this fallen realm, fallen world around us. Lord, bind it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Tear down our communication lines. Tear down all the, all of the evil that they've set up against us in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that tries to hinder deliverance, bind it. Bind up all distraction spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind up every evil spirit within us, within our flesh, soul, and, and, and body, and or within the soulless realm in us, in Jesus' name. Bind it all. I command every spirit in there to bow down, worship the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and be silent still and mute. You will do nothing unless the Holy Spirit allows you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I pray that you would send the fire of God on all rejection, lust, guilt, condemnation, distraction demons, every wicked thing that's come in through dreams, every every evil agreement he breaks and he renounces any evil agreement. Any agreements he's come into with with evil spirits, whether it's been in dreams or in the natural, whatever, Lord, we break and renounce those agreements now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Right now, every every spirit of witchcraft, I burn you by fire. I break every hex, every vex, every incantation, every every um, curse, every spell, every every hidden form of dark art, anything that's been sent against him through uh, computer means, through music around him, siren spirits, lust spirits. I burn you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. I burn you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ right now. You come out of his body, you come out of his brain, out of his mind, out of his eyes, out of his ears now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, go out of his mouth, out of his mouth now in the name of Jesus Christ, out of his private areas, you devils. You can't use him anymore. He knows you're there. He knows who he is in Christ. You got to go. I have sent a fire God on you now. Come out of his mouth, out of his belly, out of his bowels. Go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, establish that river of life. Let that river of life flow mightily from the throne of God and of the Lamb clear as crystal. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, send the fire of God and all marine waters in there by fire. Burn up all the marine waters, spiritual drought in the whole marine kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any spirits that claim to be a spouse in there, he divorces you. I burn all your jewelry off him in Jesus' name. Every, every bit of body fluids that you ever stole from him are destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire head to toe in the name of Jesus Christ. Every, go in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out right now. Fire on you, spirit spouses. Go. Spirit wives, go in the name of Jesus Christ. He divorces you. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Come out right now, Marine Kingdom. Go, go, you devils. Go, you mermaids. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Any children that were birthed in there by a destroy by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, out in Jesus' mighty name. In the fire head to toe. Go from him. Go out of his mouth. Out of his mouth, out of his jaws, out of his lungs, out, out, out of his heart, unwrap and uncoil a crush, you devils. Now, a crush every serpent, every scorpion under our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. See, I demand a torrobo kia Fire on every snake, every serpent and scorpion. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Up and out, lust. Out of his eyes, out of his flesh, you devils go. Pull these devils out. They gotta go. Anything that has no it has no legal right to him's gotta go. Anything that came in, any transfer spirits that jumped on him in the natural or wherever he's or wherever he's been in contact with anybody, go. Come out. Come out. Transfer demons. Go. 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 Go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of him. Come out of him completely right now. Rejection, go. Self-hatred, self-loathing demons, go. Go, go. Anything that attacks his self, everything that attacks his, uh, um, the way he was created, you got to go. Anything that's trying to make him think less than, of, uh, that, less than the way God created him, I burn you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I burn all your webs of deceit down. Every spirit of deception, every lying spirit, go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Unwrap and uncoil off his feet, off his legs. Now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, seek out any parts of his soul and spirit, whether, wherever they might be in any time, realm, age, and dimension. Bring them up. Bring them out of their bondage. Bring them to the river of life. Give them eyes to see and ears to hear. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, remove every veil off their eyes, every scale off their eyes in Jesus' mighty name. Spiritual blindness, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, 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 go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' mighty name. Fire head to toe. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Go. 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 Come out of his chest. Come out of his lungs now. Unwrap. 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 Unwrap and go. 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 You devils come out of him. Come out of him. Legions go. Out of his flesh. Now go lust. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Drink that living water in the name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. Lord let springs of living water spring up through every part of his soul and spirit. Spring up through every part of the soul and spirit, where, wherever, they've, wherever they've created bondage, wherever they've created strongholds, and they have parts of his soul or spirit trapped, Lord, springs of living water. Spring up all around them in Jesus' mighty name. 
Soak that land, heal the land in there, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Send the fire, God, on every root of bitterness, every every evil seed that's been sown in there. I burn you by fire. I burn your roots up now in the name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. Till the soil in there, Lord. Pull those roots out in Jesus' mighty name. Out, you devils, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him now in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. You're trespassing in the temple of the Holy Spirit. Lord, tear down. Tear down their thrones. Tear down their altars. Everything that they've set up in there. Everything that exalts itself above the Lord Jesus Christ in there has got to go. Tear their altars down. Tear their cities down. Tear their buildings down. Tear every structure that they've set up in there down by fire. Every wall. Every blockage down. Tear it all down in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire from the throne of God. Fire from the throne of God. Sanctify his flesh, his immune system, his nervous system, his blood. Sanctify him, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring forth, the restore the glory that you give every part of his spirit. Where you glorify, you knew him before you placed him in your mother's, in his mother's womb. And I pray that you would restore that glory that you give the way you designed him to be. Restore him, bring healing and wholeness. Full restoration, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let his spirit be Brought forward so you can worship in spirit and truth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As led by your Holy Spirit, Lord. Fill him, Holy Spirit. Claim all this territory within him. Baptize him, Holy Spirit, and fire. Every part of his spirit and soul. Restore the glory that you give him. Fill him with the light of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, bring up whatever it is you two want to deal with first. In Jesus' mighty name. So last time... Like when we, last video we had when we finished, we, I think it was like a 12 and 14 or 12 and 17 year old or 18 year old 14. that we purged. Yeah. And then I kept seeing like Andrew and three at the end. Oh yeah. And this like has come up with me on my own. Okay. I forgot to mention it. Okay. Like I think about it and now like I kind of, I see that, that that three-year-old or I see Andrew three okay um all right Lord please bring up the three-year-old Andrew come on up and talk to me now come on up and talk to me Lord send your holy angels to surround and protect every every part of the soul spirit in Jesus name set a hedge of your protection around them Com God, Holy Spirit comfort them let them know it's safe to come up come on up and talk to me now I see hi 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 are you Andrew <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I see yes. Can you say Jesus Christ is come in the flesh? Like I I think I hear it like or see it. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Okay. Okay, good. I need to test the spirit to make sure you are who you are. Make sure you are who you say you are, okay? <laughs> Okay, three-year-old, what's happened to you? Did something bad happen to you? I see scared. scared. What were you scared of? It said ghosts. Did you see ghosts when you were three? I see, like feel, like felt them, feel them. Hmm. When did they do this to you? At night. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking now, this is me, uh, <coughs> like when I was younger. Like, I can't remember it, but I mean, I guess you should talk to him, but I, it's like a, a weird thought, like that just came, like I had a visitor. But I always remember when I was going to bed, like hearing, like when I put my ear on the pillow, mm -hmm. I always heard like a, I don't know if it was from like, you know, my heartbeat or my blood vessels, but like a ch -ch 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 -ch, mm -hmm. like, and I always imagined it to be like someone running. And sometimes it was like someone, like it became someone running from like something bad. Mm -hmm. It's a really weird like memory to have, but I have that memory. 
And so, yeah, I just saw him say, like, the feel and at night. And then I just got me, got that feeling like there's a visitor of some sort. Okay, so is that true, three-year-old Andrew? Yes. Were you, did you feel like you were running from something? Like that, he said that he couldn't, he couldn't run, but. Mm -hmm. Try to run, but you couldn't? Yeah. And then you would get afraid, huh? Yeah, and he said, like, because he had his own bedroom. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to leave the bedroom to go to parents' bedroom, his parent, my parents' bedroom. Why not? Like, as he told me not to. So your parents told so you not something, to? Something told him not to. Was it your parents that told you not to, or was it this, the visitor? I see parents. Okay. But I don't know yeah, I what understand. that means. Were you afraid your parents would get mad at you? I uh, just didn't want them to know anything. Okay. All right. I have a... Uh... Go, ahead. Go ahead. No, like, this memory that I have when I was young, I know, I don't know if I was three, but I know that I was, like, under four or five because I was still in the original house that I grew up in. And I don't know if it was, like, my parents... Or we had like a babysitter, but like I just remember my older brother and I like we went up to the attic, like they told us to go into the attic, and I can't remember if there was like another like child there, so I was so young, but like I don't think it was my parents because it I only have one memory, but I think maybe someone who was watching us like were like okay go to sleep, and they like closed the attic door. And that's like all I remember from that memory. But I always like thought about that, like through not just now, but through my life too. About that was really strange to do that to two like two young children. So they put you if it's a true memory or not, I don't know. Okay. So they put and you up in the attic. In my, maybe it wasn't in my house. It could have been like in another person's house, but. So they took you to the attic and told you to go to sleep in there. Yeah, and it, like you know how I don't know, I'm sure houses are quite similar. It has like the attic yeah. staircase that you pull from the ceiling. Okay, yeah. It was like that kind of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Lord that God. didn't that memory came up now, but that is like something. Even from last video, I thought that I've had that memory even before, All right. like as a memory in my life. Okay, so, Lord, whatever was done in this situation, this memory, there's something to it. Lord, I pray that we would break and renounce every evil fear ritual that was done against Andrew and it's against any part of his soul that was meant to bring fear on him and meant to split his soul and, call, and to create control over him. I bind that all, I break and renounce it off of him and every part of his soul and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And any part of him that's trapped in that that attic still I pray you would bring them out of the attic and to the river of life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this would be part of his soul or spirit or part of him that's very young that's too young under the age of accountability and I pray that you would come and minister to the, to him and bring him out of that place in Jesus name shine the light of Jesus Christ all through that attic area claim that area for Christ in Jesus name I see like a little me mm -hmm. with like a like a dark shadow in front of him okay but then I see like, like I can see Jesus Christ I think test, we should test him test him yes 
So I'll say Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Yep. It's not saying it, so I don't know what that is. Well, send the fire of God on this spirit. If it's a false yeah. Jesus, send the fire of God on them now in Jesus' name. Young Andrew, I bind all that fear. I bind that shadow spirit now. Command him to be silent still and bow down and worship Jesus Christ. Young Andrew, can you come up and talk to me? How old are you? Three. Three. Are you the three-year-old that I was just talking to? Yes. Okay. Can you say Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh for me? Yeah, he said it. Okay, thank you. Okay. So do you remember what happened in this attic? Like, he thought... He said, like, we were going up there for fun, mm -hmm. like, just to play. I see. And then, and then, like, they closed the door and we couldn't come yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. So. That scared you. He, yeah, but he said, like, he's happy because his brother was there. Mm-hmm. And it was like better because he was there. Right. But we were both scared. Right. So that dark shadow, do you know who that is? No. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Do you know who Jesus Christ is? He said he hasn't, he doesn't know. Okay. Well, I want you to know that he is the son of the most high God. God, the Father, and Jesus, the Son, created everything. Everything that you know of. The world, everything in the world, he created it all. All of the people, he created us all. Okay? And he wants to help you get free. Okay? He wants you to get free from this scary place. He wants to... He wants to come and take that dark shadow away from you so that you won't be scared anymore. He wants you to be safe, okay? He said he doesn't want to be scared anymore. Yeah, I don't want you to be scared, and he doesn't want you to be scared, okay? I work for him, so that's why he brought you up to talk to me, okay? Do you know that you are actually a part of Andrew? A bigger Andrew, an older Andrew? He said he can, like, feel that or see it. Yeah. How old are you? But he seems like he's been, like, alone. Yeah. He doesn't know, like, what's going on. Right. You're actually 35 years old already. <clears throat> but when this happens, he... huh. what did he say? It's old. Yeah. When this happened to you when you were three years old, it scared you and broke the part of you apart from your 35-year-old body, or 35-year-old um, self. And the Lord wants to restore you. He wants to make you whole again, okay? Okay, so he's, like, happy because it's, like, seems like his father... <laughs> Okay, do you want to see Jesus? Can I ask him to come and bring you out of there now? He said yes. Good. Okay, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, would you please come in all your glory, saying Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. We test every spirit. Come and minister to the three-year-old Andrew. Do you see him? Okay, so he has, he said Jesus Christ has come in the flesh and he has him in his arms, okay. like holding him. Good. Lord, can you bring, please bring him to the river? And please arrest this dark shadow spirit. He's like kind of, you know, caressing him like a baby, mm -hmm. like comforting him. And they're walking towards the water. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. <sighs> So
so they're in the water and he's kind of like bathing as he would bathe the baby you know like holding him and letting the water flow yeah does jesus christ have wings though because i see wings well test that spirit what's the test them again Jesus Christ has come. He said it before. Lord, send your fire on him, right from the throne of God now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, on this said, spirit. No, it's not necessary. He said, it's me. Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. All right, thank you. Like, I, sometimes I see wings, maybe, I don't know, it's just... Okay. Maybe it... <coughs> Like it, it's not completely clear, obviously, but. Mm -hmm. I'm not against that. I, I mean, so people say that the angels don't have wings, and they do, and how, who knows? <laughs> yeah, like when he came, he was like, he like kind of like flew in. Yeah. And I saw it, and then he said it, so I just ignored it, but it seems fine. Mm -hmm. And now he's like, showing him to like let him swim around and that it's okay he can do it on his own okay. and it's just like they're in yeah. in the water what's the water look like it's like from my view it's like kind of white and blue mm -hmm. uh like kind of like it's almost like glass yeah it's like not water we would think like how we would think it to be like I, it's not glass but that's the best way to explain it yeah. it's like uh, shiny and revelation 22 calls it clear as crystal yeah so like that could be a good description yeah but i think like, i have more of like an overhead view it looks like or like from the side yeah but when like i saw it last time closer it was like clear clear as crystal okay. But it wasn't like a liquid, it was kind of like, yeah, it's something you can't describe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. As long as it's not dark and murky or whatever, that's still... Oh. <clears throat> the marine waters are like that, right? Where the yeah. the mermaid, the siren spirits, the leviathan, the dragons, the or the, you know, alligator, whatever, those types of spirits are in that evil dark water, witchcraft. <clears throat> All right, Lord. So do you think this like attic incident, which I don't need like full understanding, I feel like at peace with it. Well, I guess I always did. But I was just curious, but do you think it's in any way related to like what Andrew, what he said about like a ghost and being scared at night? Yeah, it's it's allowed this certain spirits to be there. Whatever this dark shadow spirit is, Lord, can you please reveal what this spirit is? Temptation? Okay. What's the temptation? Like, to disobey my parents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I did some bad things, like, as a little child, like, I destroyed my parents' car from the inside, and I always, my brother's older than me, but I always try to convince him to do things. Like, mm -hmm. we tore up and drew and painted on the whole dashboard of my dad's car and pulled, like, as much of the material out that we could. Yeah. And I just remember at that point, like, my dad came by, and, like, his face was red. He, he's like, who did that? And I, we blamed it on our mom. <laughs> and he walked away, and, like, I don't remember what happened after that. And another time, I went to my neighbor's house. Like, they had such beautiful flowers, but I always had such an urge to, like, destroy it. Okay. And I convinced my brother to do it with me, and we went there, and we just stomped on all the flowers and pulled, uprooted all of them. Okay. Well, so well, I can understand what that means now, because <laughs> uh, there's other things I did, too, but I can't really remember. Like, I tried to, like, really hurt my dog a lot, too. A lot of these things, like, I outgrew. Yeah. Like, I don't consider, I wasn't, you know, doing these things as I got older, but 
I was always causing just problems in my house, though. Okay, well, these you know, spirits with will, the spirits will tempt you. They'll 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 draw you into whatever sin. So, for example, I'm just Lord. Is there a spirit of destruction there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it Abaddon? Abaddon. Uh, Abaddon. Many more, too. All right. Lord, arrest all of these spirits as well, in Jesus' name. See, they will, they will draw you into doing that sin, the destructive stuff. And then yeah. they'll get you to do the destruction. But then at the same time, they're doing their destruction in you. Yeah. Right? If no, you're... that's really, that's so crazy because, like, you guys, <clears throat> a child, like, I would receive gifts that I would like, but then there was something in me that wanted me to break it. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember I had one of those, and this is later in life, I had one of those, like, you know, inflatable punching bag things that had the sand and mm -hmm. it maybe had, like, a clown face. Yep. And, like, it wasn't enough for me to just keep punching it. I had to, like, tackle it, and then I remember one time I, like, tackled it and I ripped it with my teeth. Yeah. But, like, I would receive gifts, and I would always, I'd have to, like, control myself because I wanted to, like, you know, for birthday gifts or whatever, even just things that we already had, I wanted to break them. Yeah. Wow, that's... I don't know why. Wow. Okay. So, Lord, you say there are others, many others. What are the other spirits that are there with, uh, within this three-year-old? I see Leviathan. Mm hmm I don't know why. Pardon? I don't know why. Okay. I see Mary. Mary? Mary. Okay. Idolatry? Could be idolatry. Yeah. Who else, Lord? I see the name Frank. Frank. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Lord, can you explain that, please, in Jesus' name? Who's Frank? It's like saying, like, I'm understanding it to be, it's a spirit who was like trying to be trying to pretend he was Andrew's friend really so maybe I'd like an imaginary friend that yeah. was an evil spirit I don't remember for that though what is the evil spirit behind this friend what does he do what's his purpose like to destroy everything to destroy Andrew his family. So, what's his Spirit. real name? What's the real the Spirit's real name? I see, like Ty, Ty, T Y. Does that make any sense? Not really. It's like a tie, T I tie, like something I can't really. What does that represent, Lord? T I, T Y. Like titanium? At first I thought Tyler, but I just, then I hear like titanium. Does that mean that he's very strong? Very strong. Could it be the demon that's coming up, trying to save us? Could be. Lord, I bind all those demons to be silent and mute. I only want to hear from the Holy Spirit. Uh, I just got an image of Midas. Midas, is that a demon? Midas. Lord, arrest Midas now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is that a demon? Probably. 
like you know like uh isn't that an old like in greek mythology with like uh wings on the shoes or whatever i think so it's a tire company yeah because i just got the image of those shoes and then i saw like midas lord arrest him in jesus name what's his purpose Like, to deceive me and to create, like, like, so discord, so, like, my parents, just, like, stress my parents out. Well, I did a lot of that as a child. Mm -hmm. It was kind of just, like, maybe to break any... Any unity, any bonds? I don't know. How did he come in, Lord? Like through the fear. Through mm -hmm. fear? Okay. But now it's like, I see like it's his time to go because he has no right to be here. Okay. Lord, I pray that you would bind up this Midas, his kingdom, and all those under his authority. Bind up all the fear that allowed him in. Lord, I pray that you would seal that gateway with the blood of Jesus Christ and your Holy Spirit so that nothing else can continue entering in. I pray that you would, <coughs> you would destroy that attic and that whole setup that's been set up in there, that whole demonic house and system that's been set up in there. Destroy that attic. And claim all that place and all that land for Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Wash and <clears throat> cleanse three-year-old three year old Andrew and, sh and deliver these demons out. they got to go. The temptation, the shadows, the, the Abaddon, the, the idolatry, Leviathan. Every spirit behind all of this in Jesus' name has got to go. Wash them and cleanse them white as snow. Get out of there. I bind you devils together as one. I command you to receive the full judgment of God in the name of Jesus Christ. You drink that living water. You get out now. Go. Go right now. Go from him. And break all your missions and objectives. And break all your curses off of him and his family. And future generations. Receive the judgment of God. And go. Go. Go, Midas. Right now. And I remove your shoes off his feet. I remove your shoes off his feet. I strip those demonic shoes off of him and replace them with the, his feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now come out. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of the three-year-old completely. Come out all the way out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Go with all your poisons. Out of his chest, out of his lungs. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray for the same thing for myself in Jesus' name. Every last bit of this Midas spirit that's come in and into my life as a child, I pray that you would break and renounce. I break and renounce every tie to that spirit as well in Jesus' name. I actually had a, an imaginary friend named Frank at the same age. So, uh, Holy Father, I pray for Kelly and that you deliver him from these evil spirits. Yes. And any altars, you know, heal them and send them to the river of life, but cast out these demons because yes, they don't belong there. Yes, so throw them in the blood of Jesus and send your, your holy angels with fire and cast yes, them out. Lord, amen. Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, amen. You know what's really strange? I had the time in my childhood where I woke up one day and I couldn't walk. And I had like these inserts for my shoes and like it took like a f like maybe a week for me to walk normally yeah. and the doctors didn't say anything they just gave me like these cups for my heels mm. my heels have been like deformed and i like totally forgot about it and last week i was sitting with my friend i frequently just wear flip-flops here right and i just had my legs up you know crossed over and he was like what's wrong like with your heel because he noticed it, and it's like, to me, it's not anything obvious now, because I'm used to it, but it's like, kind of like, a, it's pointy, the heel, and then it, like, it, they both, like, stick out to the side. Oh, I see, yeah. And luckily, like, I went years wearing, wearing these cups, and then finally I got rid of them, but 
I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's funny he brought that to my attention the other day. All right, and Lord, if there's anything, if there's it almost anything. seems like it's like not as now that one is still quite pronounced, but this one doesn't seem as pronounced. Mm -hmm. That was the one he mentioned. Hmm. It's the one what? It's like the one he had mentioned. Who mentioned? My, it was the one my friend mentioned. He's oh. like, what's wrong with the deal? All right, Lord, if there's anything that's uh, that these demon, demons set up or, or anywhere that they've cause this deformity, I pray that you would restore and heal him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pull their hooks out of his feet, out of his ankles. Remove those shoes, those evil shoes off his feet, the mighty shoes off his feet in Jesus' mighty name and restore his feet the way you designed him to be so that he can walk in spirit and truth and he will walk in the, He will walk where the Lord wants him to walk. He will not go <clears throat> where the enemy leads him in any way, shape, or form in Jesus' mighty name. Midas, you come completely out right now, all the way out of his feet, out of his body. Go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out right now. Lord, burn those shoes off his feet. Burn those shoes and all their anchors and hooks and spears and everything that's embedded them into his feet and all those anchors. Uproot them. Uproot them and bring healing and wholeness to his body, to his legs. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <clears throat> yeah, I also always had a tendency to walk on the sides of my feet too. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I, I told you I've been to the chiropractor and he said that like my legs were not balanced or uh, they were not the same length. Okay. But also that like, I never told him this, but it's like an effort for me to put like more pressure on the inside. It's always like walking on the outside and I have really like large arches in my feet. I wonder that has anything to do with it. All right. Lord, I pray f full restoration to his legs. I pray that you would realign his legs and his feet and everything to be the perfect length, the way you designed them to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit that's wrapped itself around his legs, around his feet, and there, and in his anchored in themselves in his arches and his feet, we're going to uproot all of that evil in Jesus' mighty name and fully restore him in the way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the way you designed him to be in Jesus' name, Lord, Holy Spirit, chiropractor work, restore him, grow his legs out to the proper length, grow him out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remove these spirits up and out of him in Jesus' mighty name. They've got to go and restore his body the way you designed him to be. Three-year-old Andrew, are you there? <coughs> He's just like. He's floating in the water, like yeah. being lifted by Jesus Christ. Okay. Lord, can you, Lord, can you, can you, can you give him robes of righteousness and dress him in the full armor of God? Yeah, he's got like his helmet, his robe, shield, and a sword. Mm -hmm. Breastplate. breastplate and some like leather shoes all right feet shot of the press preparation of the gospel of peace and i pray lord that you have him fully restored i pray lord that you would seek out any parts of his spirit or soul <clears throat> that were fragmented as well even the tiniest pieces bring them all back to him in the name of jesus christ and i test everyone to say jesus christ has come in the flesh even the tiniest a bunch, fragments. A lot of really small pieces yeah. ran to the water. Thank you, Jesus. So let's send the fire on them just to test them, yeah. like test them, right? Yes, and Lord, anything like, that's false, seek out any time bombs, booby traps, seek out anything that's cloned or copied that's not truly part of, of Andrew, and destroy all of them. We only want the true parts in that river washed and cleansed and fully restored to him. All right, so some of them... Now it sounds like there's four or five mm -hmm. really small, like they just look like specks. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So he's calling them into the water, mm -hmm. and now they're kind of like 
it looks like they're just he's they're jumping onto his belly. Okay. So it looks like I don't know they're it all in the, it, it seems like they're all one. Good. Good. Three year old Andrew, how do you feel now? He says happy. Good. Good, I'm glad. Okay. And like comfortable and relaxed. Good. Or yeah. He looks it. All right, Lord, is it is it uh, your will that the, any parts uh, or this part of Andrew can merge with the one that's in the um, in the pasture? He said it's it, it's time. Is it time. Good. Good. Thank you, Lord. The one in the pasture was, I think, a, a merge of a 12 and a 14 that became, I think, 17, That's possibly. Right. That's right, yeah. Okay. So I think he's bringing him over there now. Good. He said, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Good. <clears throat> Thank you for testing. It's weird, like, I want him to say it, so sometimes I feel like... I'm the one saying it, but then I know I'm not because there's other times like when it happened, like I'm like, I want him to say it and then he won't, it like won't, it can't be said. But it's like not really like I hear it, like I hear it, but not like I hear things happening outside my, my door. Right. <clears throat> is that, is that normal? Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> to be honest, I can't tell you because I haven't experienced that myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, but many people, I, I think many people would say the same thing. Yeah. Um, so it looks like he's over there with the older Andrew. Mm -hmm. From what I see, like, it's just like this small area, but it's surrounded by angels, mm -hmm. a couple of angels. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so they're there. Good. <clears throat> and he's talking to them. I, like, I can't hear what he's saying, but it seems like he's saying, like, you're supposed to be one. Mm -hmm. And he's got them, like, the older one has a younger one. Like, he's picked them up, and it seems like it's just, like, one one Christ is now talking to the, the merged so praise God Hallelujah. okay so, <laughs> the merged one how old is he now <clears throat> says 15 16 15 it seems like he got a little younger from that. That usually, that, uh huh? That usually doesn't happen. Doesn't usually get younger. It's just like, like I keep seeing 15, 16, 17. Okay. He was seventeen. Yeah. So just if it, did this just help to complete him even more, Lord? Yeah, like I think I get the feeling he said it doesn't matter, like. Yeah. There, it's they're one now. Yeah, the age doesn't matter because he wants to eventually bring them back with like the core. Yeah, which is who? I mean, that's like I didn't see that word for word, but that's the feeling. Yeah, that, that he's giving me. <clears throat> I understand. Okay, thank you, Lord. All right, thank you, Lord. <clears throat> now you'll all be safe if you stay in the pasture there you're safe there Lord please seal the pasture in Jesus name so, <clears throat> you, like this was related to I explained I had to explain this to you that like when I didn't get my way with something like this little child would come up and you know obviously as an adult I suppressed it but like inside I felt like a little child I wanted to be like I didn't get what I wanted at that moment right now like I want it inside, I'm like having a tantrum, I want to throw a tantrum outside, but I'm just like, it's that's, not normal, so I won't. Yeah, that's probably the Leviathan part. 
you know yeah the selfish the prideful the me 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 part you know right like oh how, how can they do that to me you know i gave a good example i don't know if i said this i have a good example where i was going to see an apartment and like i was really excited like really good price yeah like really cheap great location and i was like then my friend told me like oh you know, I was ready to go, ready to go see it. Like, oh, they don't want you to see it because it's too difficult because you're a foreigner to do the paperwork. And it was like, <clears throat> in me, it was like, how dare they do that against me? Like, yeah. like, and I was like really like strong, like wanted to like curse them. And, right. but like also it started to show, like I went home because I was like getting really angry. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how they control you, right? They, and manifest that three-year-old with all of those different demons in and it's now it's not just pushing you to bring destruction it will it will um, do the destruction inside and it will also project out to others and and then they will possibly reject you or if there was rejection in there you know or it could cause others to do harm destructive things to you right to steal from you or to whatever but again, God's in control, and He's, you know, there was a reason why you didn't get that place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it worked out. It's yeah. better. Yeah. <clears throat> but then, yeah. There's plenty of examples of that, though. I mean, it's yeah. it's like didn't make really any sense until we started talking, yeah. or I started watching your videos. Right. And I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Lord, for that deliverance and merging. Give you praise and glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray now that you would bring up whatever it is that you want to deal with next. I pray you minister to his spirit. Mm -hmm. pray that I saw, like, an older, like, 20, 21 years old. Okay. Um... This is like probably the time I was in, yeah, in college, university. Okay. Um, so doing bad things then. Okay. 21 year old, come on up and talk to me. Hey, it says hey. Hey, how's it going? I want to talk to you directly, so I want, do you, have you been watching what's happening? Like he says, a little bit. A little bit. Did you see? Bit. Did you see Jesus come and minister to the three-year-old? Yeah. Do you know who Jesus is? He said, "Yeah." Have you ever from church? From church. Okay. Have you ever given your life to him fully? He said, "Like." He used to used to go to church and par used to participate in the youth group. Mm -hmm. But he said, like, it wasn't always about Jesus. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, a lot of the time, the, ch the Jesus that's in those churches isn't the real Jesus anyway. Yeah, and this is me, like, I've had this, like, explaining this to my friend, because he's Vietnamese, yeah. and he grew up in the Catholic Church, but, yeah. and I was just trying to explain the difference, but, like, it, it was never really, like, about him when I was there. Yeah. Okay, yes, but, like, in name, but not in deed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I think that's, like, the sentiment that this 21-year-old Andrew is saying is, like, We did like things, good things, but it was like just to help people. It wasn't to like bring glory to God. Right. Actually, and which is really kind of ringing true right now because I've been thinking this, like these thoughts have been popping in my head. Like, yeah, people do good things, but they're using the tools that God has given them and they're giving themselves credit or their own goodness credit and not. The credit to God. <clears throat> when they're doing it in worldly ways or in religious ways. Right. <clears throat> they're still 
They're still moving in the soul, the soulish realm, rather than in the spirit. The Lord wants us to walk in the spirit. You know, right. you see that all the time through the New Testament. You know, the doing things in the spirit and not in the flesh. Okay. Right, and those who are, are led by the spirit are can be called the sons of God. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, I mean, yes, we we live in a fallen world and we have to live in this world. But we need to be, you know, doing the things of the Lord and, and you know, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. We will cast out devils. We will heal the sick. We will raise the dead. We will do the things that the Lord wants us to do to help the captives be set free. That's, right. that's you know, that's what it's all about. I'm talking to the 21-year-old now. I know, I know you're listening. <clears throat> Okay, and so this Jesus that you saw come and minister to the three-year-old, that's the real Jesus, okay? Yeah. Do you want to give your life to him? He says, like, he thinks he should, but, like, there's a lot of things he wants to do. Okay. <laughs> well, I want you to know that you are a part of... A 35-year-old 30, Andrew. Do you understand you're not 21 anymore? Yeah. You understand that now? Yeah. Okay. He, he knew, like, where he was was in... He knew it was like something was being kept from him. Right. So what are the things that you want to do? Go to party, like party, drink, yeah, sex, like just have fun, enjoy mm -hmm. life. Are you the one that keeps looking at all the girls? <laughs> like, I'm laughing because he's laughing. Like, <laughs> I remember a distinct time in my life when I was like, I wouldn't do that, and it was just like I thought it was so bad and dirty. Now, meanwhile, like. At this, around this age, I was, you know, doing that in private by looking at porn yeah. and masturbating. But I would never, like, be disrespectful. I mean, like, I guess I wasn't trying to be, like, holier than thou, but it was just, like, something I wouldn't look at women that way, like, real women, just only pictures when I was alone. Right. But then I worked with, you know, like, this construction-type business, and these guys are just, like, always talking about, about women. And... Like, it was like, oh, it's okay to do that. It's like a manly thing to do. Yeah, no. And like, I don't know if it happened exactly around that age, but I know that's around the age where I was like, you know, hooking up with girls or whatever, drinking a lot. Like, yeah. Not, I'm not proud proud about this at all, but like, drinking to block out several times a week. Yeah. yeah. Um, for a long time. I understand. I've been there myself. Yeah. So, <clears throat> it, praise God, I don't feel guilty for it anymore, but it's not. It, there was a time when I was proud about that. Right. And it was, it was like, yeah. you know, people would be like, me and my friends and I, why do you do that? We're like, well, why wouldn't we do it? Why don't you do it? Okay. Well, let's talk to the 21 year old and see. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so 21-year-old Andrew, see, now now you understand where your the, the your core self is at now. You're 35 years he's 35 years old and he doesn't want to do the things that you're doing that you want. He wants to follow Jesus. He's like, "Can I do both?" No. Because the things that you're doing the reason why you want to do all of these things are because there are demons in you that are wanting to do them. It's not you at all that's wanting to do this stuff. Those are demons. Yeah, I see some demons like trying to intimidate him. Yeah, Lord, send your angels to bind and arrest all these demons in him. The lust, the, the addiction spirits, the bind all these evil spirits in Jesus' name. <coughs> So he's like, kind of understands. Now, like he he's like, 
I like doing it, but a lot of times I'm forced to do it. Yeah. As you can see right there. Yeah. They have agreement from you because you they because it feels good and, and you want to do that. But these demons are leading you to do it, and they're going to drag you to hell if you don't if you don't stop doing it. Yeah, he's. Yeah, it feels like I feel like he understands. Yeah, and you've been influenced by these evil spirits for so long. Would you like to meet the real Jesus so that you can be influenced by him and his spirit rather than these evil spirits? He said, of course. Of course. He said, of course, because, like, he can admit that, like, nothing really good comes from all the drinking. No. It's like to be able to, like, talk to girls to then try to hook up with them, have sex or whatever. Yeah. But then it's like not like not, not fulfilling. It's just like a like a circle that doesn't lead to anywhere. That's it's just right. like That's right. The demons just they manifest in you to push you to do these things and then when they get what they want, you know <clears throat> They, they let it releases for a little while, but then they just come back and do it again over and over, and all of that is to destroy you. Yeah, he says like he feels like he's <laughs> on a one like a one. He's got a one track mind, and it like doesn't bring any like peace. Right. It's just no rest. That's right. It's torment. All right, well, let me ask the Lord to come and minister to you, okay? <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, would you please come and introduce yourself to the 21-year-old Andrew? Come in all your glory, saying, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. You have to test every spirit. Okay, so he said it, and now he's... Just like he did with the other older ones, like he's got his arms on his shoulders and they're talking. Yeah, good. Thank you, Lord. And it looks like he's cry Andrew's crying. Yeah. <clears throat> like, like I feel it too. Like he feels really sorry. Mm -hmm. Good. Like repent, really repentant. Thank you, Jesus. And he's like wiping his tears and saying, "You don't need to do that anymore." Like. That's right. You're, you're mine. Thank Amen. You, Jesus. I mean, Hallelujah. Just ask him to forgive you of all your sins. Say you renounce all them sins and you give your life to Jesus now. He like, yeah, he said that he doesn't, he, he's confessed and he has asked for forgiveness, but yeah. he's like he tried to do it before because he felt bad, but then he would just feel guilt and go back to doing it. Right. But that, like, I think Jesus Christ has explained that there's no more guilt. Amen. It's like it's it's done. That's right. That's exactly it's, right. You're forgiven. Like, he's really emotional right now, and I feel it too. Like, yeah. like I almost like want to cry a little bit. Like, I feel it. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's really okay. like powerful. Thank so, like, yeah, but now they're just walking together, like he's bawling mm -hmm. to the water. Yeah, let Amen. all that stuff out. That's good. Once all those tears are, are cried and, and that stuff comes out, <clears throat> then you'll be at peace. These evil spirits. It's like a, uh, like. Tears of happiness now because yes. he feels free and like I can feel like I can feel part of that too. Good. Hallelujah. Lord, can you please reveal the spirits that came in through all of this? <coughs> uh, like Jezebel, yeah. Ahab. Yeah. Leviathan? I always see Leviathan. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. He's a king of pride. He's like a like a dragon, kind of a alligator type spirit. Yeah. And he's the father of pride. And yeah, uh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. 
Um, Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. I see Marlon. Who is this Marlon? Maybe it should be Marine. I don't know. Because then I see like Marlon, <coughs> the name, and Marlon, like a uh, fish. Oh, like a fish, eh? Yeah, but I saw it as like a name, and then I saw it as like how it's spelt with like a fish. Mm -hmm. A Marlin. All right. Okay. So, Lord, is this a spirit wife? Yes, he said, yes, it is. Yeah. So what's that exactly? They like espouse me and they think they take possession over me? They, yeah, they, uh, and they're jealous. They, you, they become your wife. So then you aren't able to marry. Anytime, <laughs> you, yeah, anytime you would meet a woman that maybe God would send to you or whatever, then they would be jealous. They would cause division. They would cause that that relationship to break they would here's that's amazing because like <clears throat> i get like very you know with relationships in the past and then now like with my girlfriend now like i compare like everything about personality with like other women i know and physical with every and then it makes me like it drives me to like to hate her almost mm -hmm. This has happened in the past, but like now that I'm understanding it more than ever, it's like super strong. Because in the past, it was just a stupid relationship. And you know, like this relationship is more like I told you, it's like a friendship kind of. Mm -hmm. um, but even still, it's like, like nonstop comparing. Yeah. As soon as she, like, would, if she tries to come close to you and, you know, get to a place where she might want to marry you the spirit won't allow it because definitely because yeah. like she calls me i mean she says the word like it's a vietnamese word but the only way we can describe it in english is like difficult yeah and she like she'd be like oh you're you're acting like difficult yeah. and i don't really see it but then it makes me want to like even get more angry with her and like act more difficult yeah. and, like oh you want difficult right. i'll show you difficult. Like that's what I know. That's what I feel internally and hear internally. Okay. And like so, I try to be like very <clears throat> past relaxed in that situation because I don't want to get like mad. Right. And that's where the Ahab comes and you know you be passive and you know instead of being able to deal with this and and taking authority over all and getting it out and you know living the way the Lord wants you to, these spirits are in control. The Jezebel was the lust and the control and the manipulation the ahab is like the passive one that wants to submit to to the jezebel spirit maybe even yeah. in, maybe well, even in her <clears throat> she probably has a jezebel spirit too and so she, yeah there she'll try and control too she'll try and be aggressive with you at times and then you just knuckle under because you don't want to argue and you don't want to fight with her <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know yeah and i i've i told my friend this like and this has happened in you know, past relationships when before I knew God, that like I would feel bad for something I didn't do, mm -hmm. or like I would have guilt, like I didn't do enough, or like if someone, uh, like a girlfriend, was mad at me or like not calling me, then I would reach out to them and be like remorseful or apologetic, even though I didn't do anything. Right. Yeah. And I probably did the right thing. But because it made them feel bad, then it came back on me. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed recently, and you need I to was be, Ahab. You need to be solid in the truth of who you are, who God yeah. has created you to be. You need to walk in the truth of what you know in the Bible and how you're supposed to live. And you need to be firm in that. And then when the Lord brings your wife, she needs to be, she needs to submit to Christ in you. And, you know, and you love her like Christ loved the church, but she also needs to be meek and submissive to Christ in you. Right. And, right. and then you'll both be able to love each other and you'll both walk in the, in the true authority that the Lord has. <clears throat> you know, everything else is meant, everything else is meant to draw you into confusion and chaos and, and destruction.
Yeah, and that's what it's been doing. Yeah. And here I am, 35 years old and still. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. All right. Holy Spirit, can you please reveal to me how this spirit wife came in and what agreements need to be broken? <clears throat> With Marlon? Yes. <clears throat> like, I, like... This is something I wanted to bring up before because I didn't know if we had dealt with it. <clears throat> it's just like, you know, my teen years, when I first started looking at pornography, like, that was, like, seems like kind of the natural time. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting right now. Right. That when I started doing that, you know. Okay, what I want you to do is... I know that you've repented of this. I know that uh, <coughs> 21 year old Andrew, you need to, you've repented just now. <coughs> what I want you to do, both of you in agreement, I want you to say, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I divorce every spirit. I divorce, or we divorce, I divorce every spirit that claims to be a, our spouse. That claims to be our spouse. I remove all ungodly jewelry. I remove all ungodly jewelry. And destroy every marriage document. And destroy every marriage document. An evil covenant. An evil covenant. That we came into. That we came into. In any way. In any way. Including pornography. Including pornography. Masturbation. Masturbation. And any other lustful activities. Any lustful act any other lustful activities like fornication too. Yes. Or dreams. <clears throat> or sex in dreams or anything. Sex in dreams, anything. Lord, we break and renounce all of this now. Lord we, break, Lord, we break and renounce all of this right now. <clears throat> and I pray that any children... And I pray that any children... That were birthed... That were birthed... In the spiritual realm... In the spiritual realm... Through these ungodly unions... Through these ungodly unions... Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In the name <clears throat> of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce, uh, yeah, that's good enough. All right, Lord, I thank you for that in Jesus' name. I pray that you would bind all of these spirits together as one, the Marlin, the Marine spirit, the spirit wives. pray that you would burn up all the jewelry, all the ungodly garments that they've placed on them. I pray that you would destroy all of these marriage documents and any covenants and contracts that were agreements that, that were... Um, that brought them together. I pray that you would bind them all together. Leviathan, Ahab, uh, Jezebel, spirit wise, the Marlin, the, the pornography demons, the addiction spirits, the, the lust, the lust of the eyes. I pray that you would bind up the addiction demons, the rejection spirits, everything that was <clears throat> that that this 21 year old took in. Bind it all and cage it all and drag it into the river. Bring Andrew, the 21, into the river. Bring the 21-year-old into that river, Lord, and begin to wash him and cleanse him and strip all this evil off of him in the name of Jesus Christ and out of him. In Jesus' mighty name, you devils, you got to go. Up and out of him now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go with all your legions. Out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Drink the living water, Andrew. Thank you, Lord. Go all the way under and drink that living water. Drink that living water. Breathe it in. Get it into you. Wash him and cleanse him, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out, you devils, go. Come out of him and every part of him. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, seek out every part of him, even the, even the tiniest fragments, and bring them all back out of their bondage, and bring them out of their strongholds, bring them to the river of life as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, <coughs> every single piece of him, Lord, bring even the tiniest fragments. Test them all to say, Jesus Christ, he's come in the flesh. Seek out time bombs, booby traps, clones, and copies. Destroy everything that's evil, but only allow the true parts of Andrew back to the river to be washed and cleansed in Jesus' name. Get out, you devils. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Command them out of you, Andrew. Command them out of you, 21-year-old. Tell them to go. 
Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, Leviathan, Jezebel, in Jesus' mighty name. Go! Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out! Come out! Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of him! Come out of him in Jesus' name. Out! Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Come out, you devils. Go. Go, Ahab. Come out of there. Guilt and condemnation. Go. 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 Go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out right now, every spirit wife, go. Go, marine spirits, out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. Anything that came in through evil music, you gotta go in Jesus' name. Go, go. Anything that came in from the partying, go. Go, go. Tra transfer spirits from everybody he was surrounded by, the construction workers, you gotta go. Go, go in Jesus' name. <clears throat> go in the name of Jesus Christ, macho man demons, go. Macho man demons, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. Wash him and cleanse him, Lord, head to toe. Wash him and cleanse him, head to toe. 21-year-old Andrew, give him robes of righteousness, the full armor of God, as soon as he's ready. So they're still like... They're in the water, mm -hmm. testing... Before when you were praying for me, I saw like these demons trying to get to him and like He was able to like command them to like not go any further. Good for you He was in the water. Well, he's in the water now Good. But can we like there's like it seems like there's some demons that are like at a distance away mm -hmm. So can we like like spray water on them? Absolutely Lord give Andrew a, the, a fire hose yeah, he already had it. Good. So he's spraying them like... Good. There's a lot of them. Yeah. And they almost like look like some of the One that looks clear was the one that was trying to intimidate him before. Yeah. It's like kind of like a, like a gargoyle type right. animal-esque. Yeah. Like brown, like a disgusting brown. Mm -hmm. So he's spraying and they're going and... It's so like he's whimpering, whimpering away. Yeah, just so destroy like, them, Lord. Hallelujah. Flush those things out of there. Heal the land in there, Lord, and claim all that territory back. And then there was just like a big, almost like a tidal wave that just went over Thank you, there. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tsunami of living water in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. <coughs> Hallelujah. And it just looks like Everything looks like green, like green, healthy green gla uh, grass. Good. There's still some demons, but they seem really far away. Mm -hmm. He's healing the land, right? If you humble yourself and pray, you heal the land. Thank you, Jesus. I always saw like rocks on one side of the river, but that seems like it's opening up too. Like it was just like a river, and then one side was the grass, and the other side was just like rocks. Yeah. Like I couldn't really visualize it, but it seems like it's like getting cleared there. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Continue ministering to the 21 year old Andrew until he has the full armor on in Jesus' name. He's just like swimming around. Um... Now you see the authority that you have, the 21 year old Andrew? He's like, yeah, this is great. Yes. Like, he just seems like before I told you he was like sobbing. Yeah. Now yeah. he's just like, like really happy. Like, the happy, I can see the happiness on him that I like feel at times and like that i want to show good praise the lord yeah. i want you to understand 
you see the the churches that she had been in before they didn't they you know they worshiped the lord but they didn't what's the scripture about they didn't use the power thereof right yeah. they forsook the power this, but yeah and now <clears throat> you have it now you understand it but he's like now he's like i understand it wasn't like in truth it wasn't in spirit and in truth yeah Okay, so Lord, please give him so, the full armor of God as soon as he's ready. So he's got, like, the helmet. Yeah. He's got everything. Good. He looks a little... He looks more, like, older. He looks older with that on. Good. Okay. Lord, can you come and bring him to the pasture as well? Is it is it um, your will for him to merge? Are there any parts of him that still need to be brought back, even tiny pieces? I prayed that already, but... He said that... He said that... Like, it's time to go into the pasture with the other one. Good. Test the spirits. Remember to test so, the spirit, 21-year-old Andrew. He flew, like, he flew the little guy there. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they're kind of just walking, mm -hmm. and like he's teaching them, and right. I don't know if they went through, like they got there, but... Translated? Yeah, yeah, because I didn't see that area before, but it seemed close. Okay. Um, but he says Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, like, there seems to be like a... Uh, Everyone says it, and there's like some like rejoicing. Yeah. Like, I see some angels with like trumpets. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like it, it seems like too good to be true. Like, not real. Like, it seems foolish, but like, like I like can feel that rejoice with them too. Yeah. Not completely, but I can see it. But I feel that. Yeah. Going through me a little bit, like, like almost like. Even though I'm there, but I want to be there. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm missing out a little. <laughs> yeah. He, he's experiencing it more than you are because you're out in the natural here. <clears throat> but And now the two, like, the two parts are there. I don't know if he wants them to become one or not, but... Is that your will, Lord, for them to merge? He's saying not yet. There's still like some more. Okay. There's some more like that are captive. There's some more that need to be helped. Okay. It's like, and then we can do it. Okay. So we've got a 17 year old and 20. 21 year old in the. Is he 20 or 21, Lord? He's 21. All right, thank you, Lord. I pray that you would minister to them both and teach them and train them in, in all your ways. I pray that you would release the seven spirits of God to them, wisdom and understanding, counsel, power, knowledge, a true fear of the Lord, and the spirit of adoption. Pray you graft them. Go ahead. He said he wants to introduce them to this, like, my true spirit. Good. Good. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Lord. Where is his spirit, Lord? Like, I see an image in the sky, mm -hmm. but, like, it's just, like, kind of, like, suspended there. Is this Andrew's spirit? Yeah. said, yes, it's his spirit. Yeah. But like he said, he needs to bring those two, those two parts of me closer to the spirit. Yes. And like he wants to teach me how to, how to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I don't know exactly what he means. Um, it's 
it's just like he's like a lot of work has been done, but there's a lot more to do. Yeah. And so he wants to like bring them closer so the spirit I don't know, like it almost seems like not he wants them to merge, but he wants them to work together. Yep. Does that make sense? I think that they eventually will merge. But well, no, like the spirit he doesn't want the twenty one and seventeen to merge with the spirit, but he wants them like <clears throat> almost like he's like saying that these two pieces are a big part of me, right? And that that they like were able to, you know, come together and there was like very little resistance. So he feels like that they can work together and like maybe yeah I agree those two parts will come together but not the spirit and the two can I explain like, it to you? Yeah yeah okay then that's great. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay. What's what needs to happen is yeah. your there's still parts of your soul that needs to be rescued and restored and delivered. Right. Okay. And the Lord is going, now we've got two major parts of your soul, okay, that the Lord has delivered. But mm -hmm. they need to understand the proper authority and the proper, the way that the Lord has um, created you, spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the spirit needs to be the authority in there. Right. And he needs to be the one that's on the surface pretty much he is you he's like you know and if once the, the and then the enemy wants the soul to be up in man right. manifesting in you all the time he wants to keep you in the world yeah okay now the lord needs to teach and train the soul part to learn how to come under the authority of the spirit part but the spirit part also needs ministering too as well okay and eventually, okay. once that's all worked out and all the soul parts are restored, and and the spirit part, there's probably fragmented too. Yeah. <clears throat> there can be parts of the spirit that need to be restored, and and the glory needs to be restored into the spirit part. Because the enemy, he's done everything he can to keep the spirit down somehow. Yeah. Okay? But once that's all dealt with, you will become whole. It's like um, I was praying for one lady, and you know those old Russian dolls that one would fit inside the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think those are idols and everything, but that's kind of the way she described them coming together. All the, <clears throat> all the pieces come together with the outside being the spirit, you know? Yeah. And the soul was on, you know, they all come together as one. But that's there's work to do, and that's what the Lord's trying yeah. to do here. It's funny you say that because like the image of like the spirit was like like I said it was like a, it's kind of like a body suspended in the air, like a, it's like glass, and I'm like it's not really moving, it's just there. Yeah. But then like as you were talking, or like I started to see that there was like a like a part, a red part of it, mm -hmm. but it was like really small oh, here. Yeah. And then when you, it was like, right before you said that about the Russian dolls, like I had that kind of feeling like he's kind of contained in there and like he's, he's like become really small in there, but, um, but also the sense that like there is some order, like he has to be, he should be this big or something, but he's really small because something, I don't know. He needs ministering too. He needs yeah. to know who he is. He needs to be restored. Be set. The spirit part of you, <clears throat> God is spirit, and you're made in his image. So, mm. so you are spirit. We are all spirit, right? And then our soul is our mind and emotions, and, and that's part of us too. But you knew the you knew the Lord before he placed you in your mother's womb, before we became in, come into the natural realm here. You knew the Lord, and you were like literally at the throne of God, and He knew you, and your your spirit knew Him. He yeah. knows all of this stuff, but 
when we come into the world and the enemy that we come into this fallen world the, the spirit becomes suppressed and a lot of the time I'm experiencing as I'm ministering to the spirit part they come up and it takes a little bit of restoration and then they start to remember and they start to know who they were before you know really? yeah and they're like oh th thank you Jesus I'm so glad to be back in your presence and in your glory again and the, the light of the light of the Lord gets the glory of the Lord comes and fills them again and they you know that light becomes they become a light on the hill yeah the glory of the Lord begins to fill them and, and Satan in some of the the deepest cases the darkest cases that I'm working with the Satanists know about this stuff and they they do ritual in order to fragment the spirit and then they've trapped them spirit parts outside of the body and parts of the planet parts of the world and they use that evil or they use that glory for evil i mean that's the way i should i should word it and then yeah. they, they assign like territorial spirits over these areas and and they're yeah it's it's unreal the stuff that they're doing i can't even describe it all i'm i'm about to work on a yeah. video that's a really long about a four hour session with augustina <clears throat> where yeah. where the whole session is us going and finding all the parts of her spirit around like in california and off the coast in the ocean and and each time her soul was fragmented it was from a freemason or a satanic ritual that was done that's her soul or her spirit her spirit wow and then they use that that glory for evil how can they take it out well it's, well it's a stupid question like we don't really it's know like it. the, even even in bad times the spirit can leave the body there's still a connection there yeah you know um because of fear or because of whatever they just leave then i've heard this this is an example i'll just give you an example I've heard this before where the soulish parts get upset because the spirit left them and then they don't trust the spirit when the spirit tries to come back and we're you know working on re restoring things and the soul doesn't yeah. want to submit to the spirit because the spirit is left and this is that you know that's one example of what I've heard in other people <clears throat> that that's yeah. kind of happened when they've gone through traumas and everything else the spirit kind of bolted you know left mm -hmm. the body and but they're still attached like they're still like a silver cord like whatever they're still attached to the body but they've exited yeah and satan knows how to do this stuff and and sometimes the spirit has been placed in in uh planets up on the moon like uh, different <laughs> yeah it gets really really crazy in some of the dark deepest cases <clears throat> so yeah you, you're in your situation it's not you know it's not like that but people mm -hmm. that have been born into satanic homes satanic families freemasons the jesuits the you know the deepest illuminati type stuff yeah that kind of stuff's going on okay okay but for you it's not so bad and the lord is really working there to bring your soul parts out of their bondage and delivering them and then he's going to restore you spirit soul and body in the proper order <coughs> of authority and now you think about you think about the proper order of authority there's god the father right he has given all authority to the son jesus christ right making them equal mm -hmm. right but god has his own mind jesus has mm -hmm. his own mind but they're the godhead and the holy spirit is the spirit of the father which right. which encompasses the whole thing like that makes them one in a sense you know right <clears throat> they are the godhead now yeah. that godhead is the highest authority they are the king of kings the lord of lords it's the it's the highest authority of all right yeah and underneath that authority is angels and humans and even humans have been given charge over the angels right yeah. <clears throat> then satan fell and 
in the garden his judgment when man f ate the fruit and all that crap yeah um, the judgment was in the garden that mankind would have would bruise his heel on Satan's head right mm -hmm. meaning that we have authority over Satan we are higher up yeah okay so there's God the Father there's the Godhead then humans then Satan and then his kingdom underneath and we have authority over Satan and all of his kingdom yeah that's what we given to us <clears throat> right yeah and as joint heirs with Christ we are we are joint heirs to the throne of God with Christ this is amazing Crazy. right so that's that authority then yeah. on earth Jesus is the head of man mm -hmm. man is the head of his wife right yeah and then the wife over the children right and that is a proper order and then within spiritually there's the proper order of your spirit mean is the closest to God right yeah. he is being led by the Holy Spirit and I pray mm -hmm. that your spirit man is filled and baptized in the Spirit of the Lord and is in a glory restored to him in Jesus name <clears throat> and he's the closest to the Lord so he can receive instruction He's in Romans 12. It talks about, and I'm ministering to him right now. I'm talking to your spirit all this so he knows, to be so that his memory is restored. Romans 12, 6 to 8 talks about the different um, gifts of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Such as there is the prophet, the minister, teacher, exhorter, giver, ruler, and a giver of mercy. Those are different aspects of your spirit that need to be built up and grown. And the prophet hears from the Lord and speaks tr speaks what the Lord tells him. So he can mm -hmm. prophesy. He can, And secondly, then he can begin to minister. He can mm -hmm. minister what the Lord has spoken to him to people. You know what I mean? If your spirit man is in the highest authority within you, within spirit, yeah. soul, and body... Then you're you're moving in the spirit. You're moving directly as the Lord leads. Then the soul needs to come under authority to that, just like the wife needs to come under the authority of the husband. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing. So the soul parts need to submit to the spirit. Yeah. As long as the spirit is following the Lord, of course, <clears throat> right. which he will, because he's made in the image of God, and nothing has changed. That he's not corrupted. Mm -hmm. He just needs to be brought out of bondage and like ministered to and restored. Right. In a sense. He can't really be demonized. The spirit can't be demonized, but the soul realm can. Okay. The soul parts can, you see. But didn't you say the demon can, or the spirit can be, like, split up? Suppressed and fragmented, so, yes. Ah, okay. But not, 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 demonized. not demonized internally. Like, they can't get into. Right? Okay, I see. And then the born again part is the spirit receiving the Holy Spirit and coming alive again, you know, and being, yeah, yeah I don't know exactly how to explain that properly, but, but, you know, it's the whole thing about receiving the life of God again and receiving, being brought out of the bondage and being made whole. And so this, <clears throat> that's the. I don't have a full grasp of how to explain all that. <laughs> but that's yep. the beginning. The born again is the beginning, and then the re restoration part is what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. So eventually, everything, sh if all of that was all in line, all lined up right to the top, can you imagine what you'd be doing? You'd be, you would be get hearing from the Lord, prophet, you know, prophetic words. You'd be getting words of knowledge. You'd be laying hands on the sick. You'd be seeing the, you know, you know they'd be recovering you'd be seeing the dead raised all everything that you whatever the lord wants you to do that's what you'll be doing so i pray now that your spirit heard everything that i just said so i, I pray in agreement yes so that he knows what the plan is here and i know that the lord's ministering and that's what he's going to do he's going to he's going to minister to this to the soul parts teach yeah. them help them understand this process so that they can get in proper alignment and they can surrender to God's will. That's great. All right. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you for everything that was done here today. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would 
heal the land in there. I pray that you would seal every ungodly gateway, every doorway with the blood of Jesus Christ and your Holy Spirit. pray that you would lock every ungodly gateway or, or whatever with the keys to death and hell that only you have so that nothing can reopen them in any way, shape, or form. I pray that you would protect every part of Andrew, every part of his soul and spirit <clears throat> that may be still trapped in bondage. I pray that you would send your Holy Spirit to them, to minister to them, and to comfort them and keep them safe and and at peace in Jesus mighty name I thank you for all you've done Holy Spirit claim all that land in there heal it all and, and set up your throne within my brother in Jesus mighty name okay bro good to see you again yeah bro thanks I appreciate your time no you've, you've done more than you can even know so I appreciate it and you know all praise go to God but I can you know I thank you again if this ministry has blessed you in any way please consider donating by PayPal so that I can continue to bless others as well. God bless you. For the throne of God above I have a strong and perfect plea A great high priest whose name is love Whoever lives and pleads for me My name is great